final thoughts. Thanks a lot, Chris Coos. Nets get it done. Big time come from behind victory. It wasn't a late, crazy fourth quarter comeback, but the way they looked early in this game and the way that they were able to grind it out really says something about where this team is at mentally. Yeah, and I think we've talked about the fact that this team is showing they could win in different ways. I think we've seen the same way the last couple of games and, and grinding things out and really trying to clean up some of the miscues and the attention to detail. In that first quarter, they certainly didn't have it in a lot of areas, whether it was on the offensive end or the defensive end, but started to piece together and figure things out. And so much of that came from the groups that were in there in the second half in lineups that brought energy. They brought an intensity. And we could focus on what happens offensively. Seven players for the Nets and double figures. Everyone was hitting some timely, important baskets. But defensively, they were moving on a string. And you could just tell in watching, regardless of numbers and regardless of stops, is how the are able to communicate off of those switches, the way in which they're rotating and how getting those stops, forcing some misses, gets them some runouts, allows them to flow into their offense more easily. That's a lot of what we saw in the fourth quarter and a lot of James Harden <laughs> once again being oh. so special. James Harden said after the Knicks game, in order for this Nets team to be successful, they have to rebound better. They had a season high in offensive rebounds. They have to take care of the basketball, did a great job of that in the fourth quarter. And then defensively, they need to be solid. On the offensive side, as long as James is out there, you're in pretty good shape. 40, 15, another triple-double for James Harden. We saw it in the look of Nicholas Claxton's face when you brought up and he didn't even realize he had 40 from the bench. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, everyone celebrating when he got that final rebound. I think that is just the enthusiasm and the connectivity now we see of this team. Not only how they play on the floor, but the chemistry amongst one another. And when it comes to James Harden, he keeps defenses so off balance because of how he's a threat in all areas. They don't know if he's going to look to score and get his own, if he's going to facilitate make plays for other and when it comes to Harden for him he just looks at his I'm making the right play whatever the defense gives me I'm going to make a play off of that and he's always one step ahead because of it it has just been masterful to watch how he's able to manipulate a defense and we saw it once again tonight especially here in this fourth quarter Nets still without Kevin Durant Blake Griffin no Kyrie Irving tonight Kyrie expected back in the lineup on Friday when the Nets take on the Orlando Magic looking for their Ninth straight road win. Again, extending a franchise record if they can do it. It has been a stretch of where everyone, I think, feels so involved and so invested. And so now you get Kyrie Irving back. The different roles that individuals have had to play. We saw the big game out of Tyler Johnson. Um, it goes down the list of this roster. I think it's just the co collective nature of, okay, what do we need from each player and how do we understand the roles we're going to have to play? And to me, that's an another example. Going to Orlando, an Eastern Conference team that is struggling but it's more about this Brooklyn group it's more about ways in which they're trying to get better and the focus is just to keep on building this momentum this juice this energy that they feel and that's a lot of what I think they're trying to ride out here as they finish off the second half of the season tip off at eight o'clock on Friday Ryan Rucco Sarah Kustak yours truly on the call looking forward to that one for now we send it back in the studio with Kristen Frank